Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is incredible. You may notice I'm in my enclosure with my girl Ivy and I've told you and I'm not kidding, she is kind of like my therapy animal. For whatever reason, when I'm around her, I just feel a little bit more calm and uh, listen, we're gonna have a great day together but I'm not gonna lie to you. I've told you I'm gonna take you on my journey and today I feel Terrible, but that's okay because we're gonna get through this together and I'm gonna spend some time with Ivy And I'll tell you why I feel terrible and how I'm going to continue to deal with this kind of continued battle that I'm dealing with Of course I have Jay in with me too, so he's guys. getting a little Ivy experience as well. It is crazy honestly to be in an enclosure like this where like an anaconda will just kind of climb up to you and smell you it's and wild man and the way she looks at you is uh mesmerizing for sure it's so cool i mean she's just so curious she's not afraid of us she's just kind of like hey what are you guys doing in my enclosure so it's um i think i could spend all day in here today maybe i need to spend all day in here i'm not gonna lie to you but in the meantime i'm just gonna do whatever i can possibly do to just kind of enjoy my time with ivy Rather than being afraid, she uh, she comes and hangs out, which I think is uh, is again why I feel so much positive energy coming from her. And in times like this, it's so important to have that positive energy, more so than probably any other animal I've ever had. She just exudes this kind of interesting energy that just calms me a little bit, which is uh, which is it's really amazing. Today I got a little bit of a short time time frame here, so I'm gonna be quick and show you guys exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let you guys watch the rest. So uh, I actually wanna get our uh, our croc monitor, get a little, get his brain working a little bit, you know what I'm saying? So like uh, a lot of times when I walk in the cage, he, he really doesn't like to flick the tongue, he doesn't really like to, he's very still, and, and it's clearly a sign of fear. So I thought to myself, okay, well how about, let's not stress him out, let's not like, like just jump in the cage and sit in there for too long and make him upset with me. Let me take this little bad boy, a nice little slug egg that Brian was kind enough to give me, and I'm gonna bury it in the, in the ground. And now this is something we often see in all sorts of places, especially zoos that keep crocodile monitors. There's a really, really fun thing that they like to do for their public public hours and they'll stick eggs and stuff like that. So I'm hoping that if we have a really, really cool thing to show you guys, then we have something that we can also show you guys in public late, later on the weekend. So this will be a lot of fun to watch. Guys, this is exactly what I needed to start the day off. You know, just that little bit of like calming experience with my girl Ivy, and I'm so glad that Jay got a chance. To it's hang awesome, out. man. It was really one of the most incredible things I've ever got to experience hanging out with her. She's so good. I mean, I, 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 uh, I can never express how important she is to me. She's. Uh, She's got me through some tough times recently, I'm not gonna lie. Like I've been mentioning, I wanna update you guys as things are shedding out, because you know, once they hatch out, they look a lot different after that first shed. This is the first baby, Super Lori Leopard, that actually shed out, and oh my gosh, that animal looks so incredible. The other two should be shed out here in the next couple days, but holy cow, I love that snake. That thing is a ripper for sure. This is a pretty simple combination here. This is just an Enchi and a Mojave. But I tell you what, those two mutations together make a 
sick snake. I mean, that thing is so pretty. And then this little monkey just shut out this morning. This is actually that pastel Enchi piebald. Ooh, doggy. We actually had a couple of them in the clutch, but this one just shut out, and oh my gosh, that Enchi just makes the yellow pop even more. That is such a pretty snake. And over the next couple weeks, I'll show you a ton more, but right now I'm just gonna end it with this one here, which is the pastel Woma Lesser Pinstripe that just shed out. That looks good. And again, what happens is not only do they look amazing when they shed out, but then when they get two or three meals into them, they even brighten up more. I always say most ball pythons, not all ball pythons, but most ball pythons are at their height of their beauty when they're about 300 grams. Just to give you an idea, this is about 50 to 60 grams here. So about five or six times the size, that's when they actually pop the best. Now some ball pythons get better with age, but most of them peak at about 300 grams. It's so interesting, you know, Baby Kush has never eaten an egg before, and he knows, he can smell, he can sense it. He saw Bruce go in there and bury that egg. He's so smart, but at the same time, he just keeps circling back around, you know, over and over again. It's like he knows it's there, but he's not quite confident. Plus, he's learning, like, what is it that Bruce buried? Why does it smell like that? Can I eat it? He's thinking, I don't know what the next move is gonna be, but this is pretty interesting. I certainly don't ever want these vlogs to be downers. I just want to be honest with you and I want to kind of share the experience. Anyone that has dealt with mental health, with anxiety, depression, whatever the case may be, you know that sometimes it just comes at you for no reason. The last two and a half weeks, I would have told you I was trending in the right direction. I was definitely getting better. I had hope. The last few days haven't been as good and today has been downright horrible. Uh, just the pain, uh, of every minute has been so difficult. Uh, but don't get me wrong, I mean, the animals distract me, right? You know, there are moments when I'm with animals like ivy or baby snakes or whatever the case is that I'm happy because I'm in my element and I forget about the anxiety for that brief moment. But unfortunately, as soon as it's over, the anxiety comes back and it comes back hard. And I'm definitely struggling really, really hard today. But, uh, but I'm telling this because I want to continue to inspire people that are dealing with this to say, we are gonna get better, we will get through this. Um, and you just have to find things that bring it up just enough to get through. Sometimes it's one minute at a time, but that one minute can get you to the next minute. I mentioned before that not every clutch that we have, you know, 170 clutches this year, are we gonna cut? We're gonna cut the majority of them, but there's gonna be some that either hatch just a little bit quicker than I expected, or there's gonna be somewhere I'm like, ah, you know, we'll just kind of move on with it. This. this was actually a pastel ghost bread to a fire yellow belly. I'll be honest with you, the results were a little bit uh, disappointing, in all honesty. There's not one yellow belly in the entire clutch. Now there are two pastel fires, which would be called firefly. That's that one here, and then this one here. So these are fireflies. Again, pastel fires, and these are all hat for ghosts because the female was a pastel ghost. So that's a recessive mutation, meaning that every single baby, even the normal babies here, are actually head for ghosts. And then of course we have a little fireball python that again, it was not a yellow belly, that's head for ghosts. What we're really looking for was the firefly yellow belly head ghosts that we'd like to raise up just to produce more because firefly ghosts are absolutely ridiculous. That's really what we were looking for, but we didn't hit it, but there's still some beautiful babies in here. And again, they're all head for ghosts, carrying the gene for that hypomelanistic trait, and they're all really beautiful. So good, healthy babies are always a bonus. Who's ready for some baby colubrids? I mean, that'll always brighten my day. There's no doubt about that. And these are actually some more Pueblins and actually a little Halloween Pueblin here. We still have a couple more babies in the egg. Ooh, they are feisty little monkeys too. And they're babies, they are a pistols. I mean, take a look at that thing moving so fast. And they like to bite a little bit to his babies. But as they get older, they're really beautiful, beautiful snakes. You can see these guys here are pretty typical, just normal Pueblin milk snakes. And then this is that Halloween that has the reduction of red, more orange in it. And basically what it is is the male was a Halloween and the female was just a normal Pueblin. And again, just like I always talk about with polygenic or those kind of lime bread traits that actually pass on generations, uh, you'll get a little expression the first generation. Then if we raise this one up, breed it to another Halloween, you'll get more and more and better and better Halloween. But these guys are adorable.
How crazy is that, guys? Not only did it work, where Baby Kush finally went and found it and ate it, but now he's been on the prowl ever since, like he's looking for more. It's, this is great enrichment. We can start hiding things in the cage, and he will actually go, look at him right now. He's looking on the inside of this thing. He is so intelligent. He is legitimately thinking like, there's gotta be other little things hiding around here I wanna find. This is mental enrichment that is so important for an animal as intelligent as Baby Kush. That was absolutely awesome. I'm so happy we did this, especially on a day like today. And again, guys, I don't want you to ever think that I'm talking about this because I want sympathy or I want anything. Really, I, I'll be honest with you, I feel an unbelievable calling to help other people that may be dealing with similar things. We're in a scary time right now, right? It's unprecedented in our lifetimes, you know? I'm freaked out, you know? Am I scared about getting sick? No, but I'm scared about what the future is gonna be. And it's kinda continuing to feed the anxiety and the irrational fear. And, and um, I don't know what exactly to do, but I want to inspire people to get through these type of situations. I don't want you to sit back and think you're alone. Even someone that has everything that they want, which is me, can still suffer in days like today. Almost every minute, with the exception of the distraction with the animals, is, is unbelievably painful. But I know I'll have a better day. I've literally been making videos to myself on my phone. I journal every day. I go to therapy four days a week. I um, am doing everything I could do to get better, and I have been. It's been so much better, and uh, it's hard when you take a step back, because I didn't know I was gonna have any more days like today, but I am, and when I am, I wanna share it. And I wanna share it because I want you guys to know you're not alone, and that you can't get through it, you know? The last three and a half months have been some of the most difficult three and a half months of my life mentally. Other than that, everything's been great, unbelievably great. And yet mentally I've struggled harder than almost any other time in my life. But I know I'm gonna get through it. And I want to make sure you know you can get through it. And it would be wrong of me to suffer quietly when I have this platform that you guys have given me. And I'm sorry for those of you that just wanna watch reptile content, but this is important because if one person hears this and pulls their self out of bed today, even if I lose a bunch of subscribers, it will be worth it to me because this is important, life is important. And it's hard and it's, it's, <laughs> the, the feeling that I have at this very second is a feeling that I wouldn't want anyone on the face of this earth to feel even for one second. And I have to deal with it. And, and, and I know it's gonna get better because I'm working hard to make it get better. And um, I haven't missed a day's work. I've been here every day, seven days a week. I haven't felt sorry for myself. Well, maybe a little bit, <laughs> but not much. Um, and, and I'm gonna compile an amazing emotional video for you guys that won't be part of this vlog. It may be on this channel, it may not be on this channel, but it's gonna be my journey when I get better and I am better and I can look back on this. There's gonna be, I'm gonna share a lot of really personal things with you guys. I've recorded some of my sessions with my therapist and they've, they've allowed me to use that content. The, the, the notes I've written myself, the, the ups, the downs, and we're gonna, we're gonna make it guys, we're gonna make it. And, um, and I just wanna let you know how much I love each and every one of you and I'm sending all the energy I can to you right now just so that we can get through this together and we will get through it. And without you guys, I don't know how I would be able to get through this, so thank you so much. That's it, that's all I have to say. And this time, unlike the last time, I promise I will see you tomorrow.